Hey guys, I'm Sean Cheek coming at you from Waco, Texas. Today we're going to learn a really neat piano song. It's by Tom Waits called Downtown Train from Everything But The Girl. Make sure you get the right version because one of them is different. Uh, but this one's the piano version. Everything But The Girl, Tom Waits, Downtown Train. You'll have it. Let's take a listen. kind of real soothing music, isn't it? I love it. This is, this is a great song covered by many people. I love this version especially. Guys, welcome to our online community at webpianoteacher.com where we gather together to learn, play, and share the music that we love, creating a culture of encouragement for all you guys out there who are trying to learn to play piano online. You can do it if you pick the right lessons and you know how to practice. I'm going to help you do that right now. Let's get to it. So this is a more of a beginner level lesson, not a very beginner, but maybe mid-level, late beginner lesson. You certainly could do this because it's just chords and there's a lot of time of holding chords to let you get to the next chord. So I uh, would recommend this for, uh, you know, middle, late beginner uh, and even above that, it's to totally fine to, to try this one. It's in the key of G, so one sharp, you can handle that, I think. Uh, this is the part one lesson. If you want all the lessons for this, they are on my website, webpianoteacher.com. If you are a member, you can download the sheets for this. <coughs> Very helpful when you're practicing. Come on with me. Let's get to it. <coughs> Getting to the board here. Um, key of G, okay. Start off with a G chord. So we're below middle C. D, G, B, one, two, four. Left hand's on a G octave. We're going to count to three. One, two, three. Three and four and so the the I'll, I'll nitpick the person playing the piano a little bit. They didn't quite wait long enough to move on. One, two, three and four and okay. So make sure you count to three. One, two, three. Bum, 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 bum. All right. So D G B the notes you're already on. You just roll them up. One, two, three and four and one. Okay. <clears throat> e G B in the right left hand on a C. Have an A, then we go to F sharp. When we go to F sharp, we play a D on the left hand. So one, two, three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and then a D, an E there with a third finger, I would think, and then D and G in the right left hand of G. <coughs> so we have that open fifth sound, which is kind of cool. One, two, three, and four, and so do count there. One, two, three. Three. So there is one, two, five on GDG. So here we have G and D with two and five, left hand on a C, the E with a thumb. C, B, when we get to this B, we'll go to D on the left hand. And then da da da, A, G. So that's a little faster than these other ones. So the two curved lines in a little bit faster. Da da da. So A, G pretty quick. And then we get to D and G with left hand on a G again. Our intro. Let's try from the beginning and go. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, four, da da da. Outside another yellow. All right, so you know the song, <laughs> right? I think uh, Rod Stewart uh, did a cover of this, and that's the one I really remember because that's when I was growing up. This is a very good piano arrangement, and uh, very soothing, so it's fun to do. Uh, it's a nice one to do if you've played a lot of fast songs, you want to get to something a little slower. All right, so there we go with that, guys. This is the part one. I'll see you on the website. Talk to you later.